there, everybody. My name is Mike Hyde. I'm an elder at Heritage Community Church, and I have the privilege and the honor to lead us today through our Lentil devotionals. So let's get right to it. Let's take a look at Psalm uh, chapter 84, verse 11. For the Lord God is our sun and our shield. He gives us grace and glory. The Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. Now, there's a second passage I want to follow up with this one. This is the Old Testament. Let's go to the New Testament. And these are the words of Jesus. This is Matthew 7, and we are starting in verse 9. You parents, if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? Or if they ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? Of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good gifts to those who ask Him? Now, there's an important word that I want to focus on in these two passages. And it's very critical for our understanding on how God works in prayer. And that is the word good. That is the word good. Now, the word good is very different in the mind of God than in our minds. See, what we think of as good compared to what God thinks is good, two different stories. See, God's good is perfect. You know, when he created the, the earth in the beginning and all the things in it and all the things of nature, he said it is good, meaning it's perfect. Now, we can't really fathom that. We don't have too many things that are perfect in our world. So we have to understand at first that when God is on a different level when he says something is good. Now, with that comes the knowledge and understanding of what defines good, of what makes something good. And that's the biggest problem we think we have in our prayers. You know, we often get upset um, because we're not getting the things that we want. And I, that can be linked back to a misunderstanding of what we think is good. So I want to key in on this word good and focus on the three ways that God can respond to us in prayer when we ask Him, when we bring our request, as we should. We should bring all our requests before Him. Now, the first answer that God can give in prayer is obviously yes. He can say yes to our prayer. Now, if He does say yes, we can be uh, rest assured that it is a good thing. We bring it to Him. Um, we see it fulfilled. We know what we asked for was good because God brought it into our lives. Even if it's really something that doesn't seem like it's good, but we ask for it and God gives it to us. Sometimes um, he gives it to us to, for our good to teach us a lesson. Like if you, I think of the when they asked for quail, when the Israelites did, he just kind of just gave it to them where they were like, it was coming out of their noses. But that was still a good thing, even though they were asking with bad motives. It was a good thing that God answered that because it refined them and it taught them not to test the Lord and be grateful for what he had given them. So it was still a good thing. So if you ask for something and you receive it from the Lord, we know it was good. Now, the next one is no. God can say no to things. A lot of us get upset. We say, well, why isn't God answering my prayer? Why isn't he he's ignoring me? Well, we forget that no is just as much of an answer as yes is. If God is not giving you or has had said no to something you have asked for, it's because it's not good. It's not good for you. Even in our mind, if we think it is good, if we look and say, well, this is a good thing. I can't see how this could not be good. Why aren't you moving, God? That, again, is us not submitting to the superior knowledge and sovereignty of God. If you don't have it and God has said no, it's because it's not a good thing. For example, let's say you look at someone who's really struggling financially. They have really bad housing. Uh, they, they, they can't, you know, just get themselves off the ground and going. Now, in our minds, we see praying for them. Uh, Lord, I pray that they will win the lottery. Okay? Let's say they're, they're playing the lottery. I pray that they will win the lottery. Now, in our minds, we think, oh, wow, they're going to have a bunch of money coming their way. That is a good thing. That is a good thing. Lord, why aren't you answering it? Why did you say no? Why are they not winning the lottery? Well, in God's infinite sovereignty and in seeing the whole picture, he may see that that person has a tendency to be very prideful, to be very greedy, to be very materialistic. 
So the worst thing you could do for somebody is dump for someone like that is to dump a bunch of money on them. That would not be good. Although we look at it and say, oh, wow, they could get out of poverty. They could have a nice house. They could leave this, this um, wretched lifestyle behind. Oh, man, that would be a good thing. No, it wouldn't be. If, you, uh, if someone struggles with that kind of stuff, it would not be a good thing to give them a bunch of money. And God sees that, so therefore he says no to that. Now, this last response, and this is probably, in my opinion, more difficult than no. This answer is wait. Wait. Now this meaning uh, it's not good yet. So what you may be asking for in prayer, it may be a good thing. In the mind of God, God sees the whole thing. He says, yes, this is a good thing, but not yet. Not yet. It could be that you need to be matured more. You know, if you're praying for a spouse uh, or someone to come into your life, it may be that God wants to work on you more. You're not ready for that. You're not ready to receive that good thing. Uh, whatever it is, maybe it's a new job, a promotion. You're not ready for it yet. It's not good yet. It's kind of like this. Turkey uh, at a Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner, it's delicious, right? It's based with butter and all the spices and everything. Oh, it is delicious. Uh, turkey, yum, 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 real good. Put it in the oven, take it out after 10 minutes and start eating it. That's not good. That's going to harm you. you you got to cook the poultry. You're going to get sick. That's going to hurt you. That is not a good thing. you got to cook it for hours. Well, it's the same thing possibly for us. What you're asking for is a good thing, but it isn't ready yet. You're not ready yet. And God in his sovereignty as a loving father has said, you're not ready. It's like the, t the parent saying, I'm not giving you the keys to the car, five-year-old, because you're not ready. It's not a good thing yet. Remember this when we pray and trust that God is good and he knows how to give good gifts and he, only he knows the true meaning of what is good. Remember that in your prayers today. God bless you. Have a great day.